Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And today I have a story for you guys, an interesting story, a embarrassing, a little embarrassing story to tell about my first experience with college. So it was a complete disaster for the whole beginning. The rest got super good. I had, I enjoyed my time there. So let's get on with this story. Add me on Snapchat if you guys want to keep up with me and then my college and all my videos I upload there every single day. That's not one day that I don't post. Even if I'm home, I still post on there. So if you guys want to keep up with me, then follow me on Snapchat. You don't really have to, but do so. I am doing the virtual barbershop thing. I know that this right here is not cute. And you know, like I was gonna wait to get a haircut to upload a video or to start recording another my other videos. But I have been laying in bed all day um procrastinating on doing my homework and i have noticed that it did not get dark at all at all it has not been getting dark at all so i was like let me sit my butt into that chair and just record because i complain when it gets dark but now that it's bright i'm not recording yeah no so you guys gonna have to deal with this i'm not even gonna show you this area because i'm just i'm gonna talk like this so i start my first class at 10 o'clock in the morning i have to be in the room at 10 o'clock so i have to be at school at the college at the campus um i'm still in high school mentally i have to be at the campus like hours you know like an hour or like some minutes before so i then i have time to walk to my class so me and my friend have the same class together and we both left the house i thought i left the house early and she managed to get there before me so that's not the thing but we both left the house at the same time she lives a little bit closer i live a little further i'm in the middle of two campuses i'm in the middle of an east and west and i chose to go to west because that's where all my friends like my best friends and like my rider dies are at so why not go to that campus why would i go to east so i'm going to there and then it is a little far but so is the other campus they're both <laughs> the same distance so i I get up, I get ready, I take Snapchats. Now, I could have left earlier, but I don't know if it was too early and I just wanted to take a little bit more Snapchats. If you guys have me on Snapchat, y'all would have seen that. But anyways, yeah, so I was Snapchatting a little bit too much and then I told my brother to, let's go, you know what, let's get in the car, let's go because it's getting late. So we're driving there and I put on the GPS, okay? On the Apple GP, on the Maps, Apple Maps, no tolls to here, okay? So it's taking me to no tolls to here, right? So then they're making me go into this highway, which has no tolls, like I have tugged in it before, but it's making me go to that highway, but it turns out that they're closed. So we had to make a U-turn and then try to go in there again, but then we figured out that it was closed, so then we had to keep on driving. So I guess the map rerouted, but instead of the map rerouting to a no toll place every ride to a toll place like i get it i could have checked you're right it was partially my fault but if these gps are so smart if these iphones are so sm these computers are smart if i put no toll at the beginning what makes you think i wanted tolls the second time it just makes no damn sense so it just rerouted and it gave us a toll so we're driving in the highway i'm really bad at gps by the way keep that in mind i am completely horrible at directions if you're if i'm telling you where to go like there's gonna be like i'm that type of person that if you have to turn here i'm gonna tell you that split second and we're gonna get in a car accident i'm that type of person i don't choose to be like that but it just happens to be like that so don't ask me for the directions because you're gonna get in a car accident we get to the lady and we're like look ma we have no type of money with us um we weren't expecting to get a toll we're trying to go to college we're trying to drop off um myself to college you know um trying to yeah yeah um you still gonna have to pay so you hang on to this and they gonna give you a call okay they gonna give you a call in a couple of days and okay. um okay, okay. yeah you hang on to this okay Thank you. So that's how that first part went. And basically, my brother was extremely mad at me. And I understand. I completely understand. So we get off and we're still following the GPS. And the GPS is making us do a turn. And myself told him to do that turn a second we were there. So we almost crashed. So he had to like swerve on. So we, we got that part finally. And then we had to keep on going. We had to keep on going that direction that we just turned on but this part was his fault so there's 
two lanes and then other two lanes. Two lanes are to go room and then the other ones are to go phew, you know, to turn. So he went on the wrong lane by accident and of course blamed it all on me. So we had to keep on going straight, but so we had to make another U-turn to go back to that road. So we finally do that. We go on that road to make a U-turn. So we're finally get back on the road that we just had to make a U-turn to keep going straight. So we're going straight, going straight and um, we had to turn again and I told him a split second there because I was on the phone talking to my friend. He didn't actually try to turn, he kept on going faster so he can make a U-turn, but the light turned red when we were halfway there and he didn't notice so he had to stop and like shit was going everywhere, like the car just and then um, cars were about to come through my door so we literally almost died, or oh, I did because I was on that side of the freaking door where the cars were coming to hit us. So I like almost caused us an accident but we just gonna keep on with the story. So we finally get on track and then he finds this other highway that we had to get on and we've been on the highway before. So we get back on that highway and we're driving. So I'm like, okay, now I can relax. Like, okay, we got this, we got this. We're familiar with this road. And then I keep seeing signs on the, keep seeing signs saying toll up head, toll up head, sun pass up head, um, have your money out, blah, blah, toll, toll here, toll there, toll here. So we're like, oh shit, no, we have to go on the exit because there's a toll coming up. The map, the map um, on the phone is telling us to, okay, basically this is what the map on my phone looks like. I'm gonna draw it for you guys. So this is what the map on the phone looked like. That's us, and this is to go the exit that we were supposed to, and this is how we kept on going. By that time we were here, the little blue line that was like supposed to be us was still here until we got to that part and rerouted and told me that we were supposed to go that way. How the f am I supposed to know that we had to go that way if the map, the little blue thing, was following one road. Right when we got there, it said, oh, like it didn't even say take an exit. It was just showing that we went the wrong way. Like this phone, like get it together, Apple Maps. Like you are really, you lucky I can't curse no more. You are very lucky, but that was really bad. That wasn't even on my part. That was the GPS's fault. Yes, I could have been looking at it, but I was, and the blue thing was still on one road. It just makes no sense. So we ended up going to, another toll well actually we found another exit and then surprisingly it had another toll so we ended up getting another well we did it was like an out of throwing the coins so it just took a picture so after that now we get back on the road again and then right then and there my brother was like okay now i know where to go so you can turn off your gps now so i turn on my gps put some music try to relax on my ears and then we get to school <laughs> you would think you would think that the trouble will stop there, and no, no, no. By now, it is 10.25. We had to be in class at 10. Now, they said that you, my cousin told me that you could be late to your first day, you know, but to an extent, you can, you can be 15 minutes or 10 minutes, five, but 20 to 30 to 40 minutes, that's a big no-no. Like that's, you know, obviously, that's gonna look horrible. So we have to take this huge road to get to the campus. Now this is what it looks like. That's the road and that's the campus. We were right down here and the campus was all the way over here and there was cars going up and down, up and down. So we were stuck in really bad traffic. My friend actually had to park on grass because she couldn't even find student parking. It was packed. So I get off the car and I just walk my happy self there to try to make it on class on time because by now it is 10.30, okay? So we get to, we meet up and we're like, okay, where's our class? We didn't know where our class was. We were relying on an app that we had on our phone that told us where our, like our schedule, where the class was and the room number and building. And it was not loading. It was not loading. Like the day that we needed it, it wouldn't load at all. It would not load. I guess too many students were on it at once, but it was just a mess. I had the smart idea to get on Safari and just go through the school website and I found it. And by the time we got to the door, it was 1035. We looked through the little window of our of the door and we see that there's a bunch of kids in there, like a bunch, like it's packed. I did not expect it to be that packed. So I'm outside like, oh my gosh, no, we can't go in. We can't go in. Well, hold on, like, let me try and breathe. I really just wanted to sit, stand there for five minutes, just breathe in real quick. But my friend pushed me to go in and I'm glad she did because if it wasn't for her, I would still be standing there waiting for the hours to go by until my anxiety went down and it would not go down. So we walked in there, it got dark, it got quiet, it got dark. I was just about to say that because it did get dark. 
We walk in there and it gets quiet. Like you can literally hear a pin drop if it would have fell and it was carpet. It got so quiet for no reason. Everybody was staring at us. The teacher didn't even know what to say. He was literally like stuck. He was like, and we were like, we're a little late. He's like, oh, okay, okay. Just, he looked around and he was like, there was no seats, y'all. He literally looked at the corner and said, just sit on top of that desk. And we were like, what the f right? I guess, I mean, we have no other choice. We walked a happy ass across in front of the class while it was still quiet, heads turning, looking at us. And we sat on this desk that's in front of the class. We were already, we already made ourselves look like a fool and we sat literally in the, we were just the center of attention the whole entire time. So then, but the funny part was we were walking in with our headphones. He made us take our headphones off, which I was confused. But okay, we were gonna take them off anyways, but okay. And then we literally just sit in there because we missed the whole entire introduction. So we're just like, what the fuck do we do? We see everybody writing and we're like, what, the f what do I do? What do, we, what do we do? He looked at us and he literally did this. And I was like, okay, damn. Like, let me get my notebook and start writing something because I don't know what the fuck to write. He didn't tell us what to write. He just told us to write something down. Like, but then after a while, he noticed that we didn't know what we were doing. So he told us what we had to do, and we had to do it. We had to basically interview ourselves. He didn't know that we knew us, that we knew each other. So that's why it was easy for us to do it. But then this other girl comes in, and the class was hee hee ha ha. Like they didn't get quiet at all. They only got quiet when we went in. They didn't get quiet when that other girl walked in late. So we were like. Well, that's nice. That's real nice. After that, we um, everybody was introducing himself. It wasn't forced. Everybody like volunteered and stuff like that. And I was shitting bricks because I was like, "Fuck!" Like we already, we already came in late. Um, we embarrassed ourselves. We have to stay on the desk. Like I don't have no interest in talking in front of this whole class. But everybody was doing it, and my friend really wanted to do it just to get it over with. And I kind of wanted to do it just to get it over with, but I was letting my anxiety get over me. So I told my friend, I was like, if the next person doesn't raise your hand, don't even worry about me. Just raise your hand because by that time I'll be forced and I'll do it. So we did that at the end of class to like kind of like redeem ourselves because this other girl that walked in, she that walked in late, she volunteered to do it. So we we're like, damn, like we have to do that because we gotta redeem ourselves. So we did it and then the teacher felt happy again with us and we apologized to the professor at the end of class. I had another incident with a bookstore lady. I wanted to spit on her face. I wanted to spit on her face so bad. But this video is already long enough and I can't tell that story right now because this video is just gonna be too, too long. So I'll try to mix this story in with some other stories because it's not like we're like big long, st well it, it probably is. Yeah, I'm probably gonna make a story time about this right after this. So anyways guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this react this reaction video. Yo, I am stuck with that. I hope you guys enjoyed this story time video. If you guys had a similar experience or a worse if you guys are in college, but I know some of you guys, most of you guys are in high school and just wait till you get to college. It's completely different. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. Thank you so, so much for your support and see you guys next time.